You know, I think this is one of the most important messages because I think uh, screening can feel daunting. Um, and traditionally, screening has involved uh, a, a, a digital rectal examination. You know, I, I would say the thing that has proven to be most effective in screening is the PSA blood test. Um, so that is a blood test that you can um, ask your primary care physician or uh, a specialist for if you're interested in screening. Um, I think it's worthwhile discussing the risks and the benefits of ordering that test and what those results may mean for you. Um, but we know that PSA blood test decreases uh, a chance of, a, of an individual dying from prostate cancer about 20%, um, which is really significant. Um, you know, there are a lot of considerations around screening. So um, one of them is false positive tests, um, so to speak. So your PSA may be increased, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you have prostate cancer. Um, you know, there is this risk that we may find cancers that would never affect your natural life. And we uh, are affected individual during their natural life. We call that over detected cancers. Um, we know that somewhere close to 40%, maybe 50% of the cancers we diagnosed are really low risk and don't require treatment. So that's part of the calculation. Um, and we worry that uh, once you have a diagnosis, you, you might be at risk of being treated unnecessarily. We call that overtreatment. So that's one of those risks that are worth um, considering when you're uh, looking at this, whether to screen or not. And then the other thing is obviously the, the way that we make the diagnosis is through a prostate biopsy. Um, and that can have discomfort, infection risk, and bleeding risk. Um, they're all fairly low. It's a safe procedure, but these are still additional risks that you have to factor into your decision of whether or not you'd want to be screened. You know, screening is really, uh, it's, a, it's a complicated thing in some ways, um, and we certainly have made it more complicated than it needs to be, um, but we know it's effective, uh, but not everyone needs to be screened. So really the parameters are, uh, around what your overall risk is. So we talked about some risk factors. If you fall into a population that has high risk factors, you know, runs in the family, uh, identify as um, black or of African descent, um, you may want to consider screening and screening maybe even at a younger age, um, like 45. Um, and then if you're really healthy, I think you should consider screening because the benefit of screening um, is, is really realizing those who live you know, 10, 15 or more years. And so the healthier you are, uh, the, the higher the benefit of the PSA test.